Hey friends, today we are going to be creating fall themed art in the style of one of my favorite artists who is Romero Brito. A lot of you have learned about Romero Brito with me in class. He is the artist that was originally from Brazil, but now he lives in Miami, Florida and has a studio there and works in it every day. A lot of the artists that we talk about lived a long time ago, but Romero Brito is a current artist that works in the pop art style. We've talked about how pop art is very bright and colorful. A lot of times it looks like something that you would see in a magazine or an advertisement. And the fun thing is, is Romero Brito actually does work with advertisements. If you are doing this project from my Google Classroom page, you probably already clicked on a video of Romero Brito talking about his art and all the different types of products that he advertises with his art. But he also does work for his, on his own for his own studio that has this type of style where it's broken down into panes, kind of looks like a stained glass window, and then each pane has a different color or pattern or decoration. Conrad, come to the office, please. Excuse that. <laughs> and so each section has a different color pattern design. Uh, like you can see lines, shapes, colors, textures, all the elements of art that we have discussed in class. Okay. Now, if you want to work with me today, I'm going to be doing a pumpkin. But what you need to do first is decide what fall theme do you want to use in your picture? Do you want to do leaf shapes? Like if I was going to do leaf shapes, a cool way to do this and how I did these is I went outside and found some leaves um, that had fallen off the trees and this perfect time of year to do that. And I traced the outline of the leaves to make a leaf silhouette. So I found some different leaves on the ground and traced leaves. It's an easy way to get a cool leaf shape. Um, you could do the silhouette of a fall tree. You could do a silhouette of a scarecrow, really anything that is fall themed. We're doing a fall theme for this one. I'm going to do a pumpkin like is on this one, okay? So I'm gonna go step by step how to do a pumpkin. What you would want to do first is draw this with pencil. And then when you're done, you can fill it in with paint if you want to. You can fill it in with uh, color pencils. You can fill it in with markers or with crayon, really anything you have at your house will be fine for this project, okay? I did markers on mine here, but you can do whatever you want. All right, so to do the pumpkin shape, what we're gonna do, make sure that's lined up here, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna start the stem. So remember, I'm gonna do this in pen so you can see it a little easier on the video, but you're gonna wanna do this with pencil. So we're gonna start by doing a line across for the top of the stem. Slight curve line this way. Slight curve line this way. Okay, so that I got the top part of my stem. Now I can just kind of give it a jagged bottom, kind of almost like a zigzag line to kind of give it more of a natural stem look for a pumpkin. Now I'm going to do an oval right here. Oval. Kind of right now looks like an eggplant, if you know what an eggplant looks like. All right, but we're gonna make it have that pumpkin look. Then I'm gonna start right up here at the top, right next to the stem, and do another kind of oval shape and connect to the bottom. Do another kind of oval shape and connect to the bottom. Another oval shape and connect to the bottom. Another oval shape and connect to the bottom. Now, I've had kids say, wait, Miss Hoffman, that has a lot of oval shapes, and this is how I typically draw my pumpkin. I draw a stem, and then I draw a big circle. If you wanna do your pumpkin like that, that is completely fine, and it's all gonna look super cool. This one just gives it a little bit more of a realistic look. Now, what Romero Brito likes to do and if you, again, watch this from my Google Classroom, you've already watched a video about Romero Brito and heard him talk about his art and looked at some examples of his art. But if you've never seen examples of Romero Brito's art, you can have a parent help you look up some examples. And they're all very bright and colorful, and they're kind of broken down into panes. A pane is kind of like in a stained glass window where they're broken into sections. You can see that this middle oval section of my pumpkin is not just one pattern. It's already broken up into one, two, three, four patterns. This one's broken up into one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So you can see they're all kind of broken up. Now how to do this, there's no real wrong way to do it. You just draw lines 
through your picture, kind of like chopping it up. So I'm gonna start by just drawing a line across here. Your lines don't have to be exactly where my lines are. And then I'm gonna draw a line kind of going from there. Maybe a line going straight up right here. Line across. And I'm gonna break up my picture into several panes to kind of start giving it a faux or kind of fake stained glass look. So, so far, I've used shapes like ovals. I've used lots of lines. And now we're going to start using patterns and designs. Now, a design is where I just kind of use my imagination and I do any type of design I want. Romero Brito really likes to use lines and polka dots in his designs. So you can kind of think lines and polka dots. So design, I can't really tell what comes next in design. It just kind of comes out of my imagination. I'm being creative. Now a pattern, if I want to do a pattern, I can tell what comes next. So I might do stripe, squiggly, zigzag. Straight stripe, squiggly, what would come next? You're right, zigzag. And that would be an ABC pattern because I have three things in it. Now if I do an AB pattern, I might have stripe, wavy line. Straight stripe, wavy line. So as you can tell, I'm now gonna go through each section and fill in each section with a different line, shape, or color pattern. When you're done with this, now I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me do that to my whole pumpkin. When you're done with this, you're gonna have a picture that is in the style of Romero Brito. His style is very classically very bright, bright colors, uh, very full of lines, which is one of our elements of art, shapes, which is one of our elements of art, and colors, which is one of our elements of art, and also has a lot of designs and patterns, which are our principles of design. So here I have circles, which are shapes. I have some organic shapes that look like flowers. Organic shapes are natural shapes. I have straight lines. I have ziggly li zigzag lines. I have squiggly lines. I have thick lines. I have thin lines. So I have lots of different line qualities, and that's a word for types of line. I have cool colors that look cold with my kindergarten in first grade and second grade have been learning about cool colors. So I have cool colors that look cold. I have warm colors that look hot. So I've used uh, primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And I've used secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. So I have kind of filled in my pumpkin with all different types of lines, shapes, colors, designs, and patterns. When you're done with this, I would love to see it for my friends that are doing this through my Google Classroom you can uh, add an attachment to your assignment and let me see it. If you're doing this through, uh, through just YouTube, you can email it to me, or if that's easier for you, you can email it to me. I would love to see your work. Hope you have fun with this. Remember, it doesn't have to be a pumpkin. It can be leaves, it can be a fall tree, an owl, a fox, anything you want. Bye guys.